Good day to everyone. I am Glancia Fernandez, working for the Department of Commerce from Milagris College. So, here I am to present a topic on median. Let's know what is median and where the term has been used. Now, median is used in statistics. So, wherever you need the statistics or a data of a particular company or maybe an industry, you need to apply the term median. So, median can be used in three forms or three categories. It, it is one is raw data, second one is discrete series, third one is continuous series. Again, it depends on the company, depends on the industry, how many number of employees work in a particular company, etc. So, upon that, it has got exclusive series and inclusive series in median. Here is the formula of median. Median is denoted with the capital letter M. So, what is the formula for median? M which is equal to L plus N divided by 2 minus M into C divided by 2. Let us know in detail what are the, what are these shortcut keys. So, L will be denoted as a lower limit of the median class. Now, in median class, there will be more than 8 to 10 series. So, we should find out what is the lowest limit and that will be denoted in terms of L and there will be a second pattern called frequency. Now, the total of frequency can be denoted in terms of N divided by 2. So, the total of frequency will be taken as N and divided by 2 minus M. M which is nothing but it is a cumulative frequency of the class which shows the preceding of the middle class. The previous class will be showed it as M. Divide by F which is nothing but again the frequency rate multiply with C that is the width between the median class. If the width between the median class is 10 to 20, it will be taken as 10. If it is 10 to 30, the difference is 20. So, C will be taken as 20. Here is the problem of median. Let us know the question. For the following distribution of heights of students, find the median. Now, here height is given in terms of centimeters and there are 7 students heights are given and there are number of students in each category. So, height in centimeter from 130 to 139, there are total number of students are 2. From 140 to 149, total number of students are 3. From 150 to 154, number of students are 11. From 150 to 159 centimeter, students are 22. 160 to 164, students are in number 21. From 165 to 169, students, the height of students are 17 and from 170 to 179, number of students are 9. This is the problem of median. Here is the solution of the problem given. This problem is in inclusive type. What is inclusive type? When the class interval is given in this way, that is 130 to 139. Next, it is 140 to 149, where there is a difference in the class interval. The class interval should be the same that is 130 to 140 and from 140 to 150. In that case, the problem will be called as exclusive, but this problem is in inclusive type. So, let us convert the problem into inclusive type and there is a formula for the inclusive type. The formula goes like this. Succeeding class interval minus preceding class interval divided by 2. So, what is the succeeding class interval? 140 is the succeeding class interval. 139 is the preceding class interval divided by 2 and you get the answer as 0.5. This 0.5 should be deducted from the first part of the class interval. So, minus 0.5 and should be added to the second class part of class interval. So, when you deduct 0.5 from 130, you get 129.5 and when you add it to 139, you get 139.5 which is nothing but the modified class interval. 
So, the modified class interval could be written as 129.5 to 139.5. Next class interval becomes again less 0.5 from 140 that becomes 139.5 to add it to the next class interval and that becomes 149.5. Here there is a similarity in the class interval which is nothing but exclusive. This is given in the inclusive. So, the next class interval go as 149.5 to 154.5. Similar way from 155 deduct 0.5 you get 154.5 add it to 159 you get 159.5. Deduct from 160, you get it 159.5, add it to next class interval 164.5. The last one, okay, one more 165, deduct 0 0.5, you get 164.5 minus 169.5, and the next one 169.5 to 179.5. Next, we need to change the frequency which is given here. Now, number of students can be taken as the frequency. Frequency can be denoted as small letter f and the frequency can be changed to the cumulative frequency that is less than cumulative frequency. How are you going to write the less than cumulative frequency rates? The first value always remains the same that is the first frequency remains the same. Next frequency you could add 2 plus 3, you get 5. Next cumulative frequency will be 5 plus 11, 16. Next one, 16 plus 22, you get 38. Next one, you get 38 plus 21, you get 59. 59 plus 17, 76. 76 plus 9, you get 85. Now, 85 number should be tallied to the total number of frequency. Here also you must get 85, which should tally. Now, go to the formula, that is median formula, L plus N divided by 2 minus M into C divided by F. So, you need to get the answer for n divided by 2. Now, what is n here? That is the total frequency, whatever answer you have got, that is n. So, 85 divided by 2. Now, let us go with the formula, the median formula, L plus n divided by 2 minus m into c divided by f. Now, split the given formula. Now, we need to get n divided by 2 which is nothing but n is the frequency, total frequency we have got as 85, 85 divided by 2, you get 42.5. Now, you need to find out this 42.5 lies between which is the cumulative frequency rate. Now, 42.5 lies between 38 and 59. Between these two numbers, the value given lies. Which is the largest cumulative frequency value? That area has to be blocked. This will give you uh, the formula values. Now, from this value, you have to take for your formula L. In the formula given, L denotes the lowest class interval. In the blocked area, lowest class interval is 159.5, 159.5, n divided by 2, we have solved it and we got the answer as 42.5. Now, what is m? m is nothing but the less than cumulative frequency rate. In this area, the preceding value, which is nothing but m value. So, minus 38. What is C value? 
what is the difference between the class interval? What is the difference between these two? The difference between the class interval is phi. So, multiply with phi. What is the frequency rate in the blocked area? That is 21 divided by 21. This will give you the median answer that is 160.57 centimeters. This is the problem of median. Thank you.